Rate of change is one of the simplest indicators in technical analysis. Let's see what do we mean by rate of change. So rate of change is a technical analysis indicator which measures a stock price's speed or momentum. So for in, in order to calculate the rate of change for a year, we, can, we take 250 days as a, as a factor, indicator factor, 125 days for a semester, 63, 63 days for a quarter and 21 days for a month. Now let's say if you want to calculate what is your rate of change for 21 days or rate of change for a month, here, here's the formula which you can use. So rate of change for 21 will be equal to current close, that is the close today minus close 21 days ago divided by close 21 days ago and into 100. So this will give you exactly what is the change in the price of your stock for a month by taking this 21 days into consideration. Similarly, if you want to calculate it for one year, this change or this formula will be for ROC of 250 days where you will be having current close minus close 250 days ago divided by close 250 days ago into 100. So let's see how do we calculate rate of change in Excel. So here for our understanding we have uh, taken two rate of change. One is ROC 21 and another is ROC 12. So the formula for ROC or rate of change is current close minus close 21 days ago. The whole divided by close 21 days ago or in case of RSA 12 it would be 12 days ago and you multiply everything with 100. So let's quickly do it. So here we have taken 21 gaps since we want to do close 21 days ago. We want to subtract 20 close 21 days ago from current close. So is equal to bracket open, another bracket open. So it is current close minus close 21 days ago, which is basically your 10 1 2017 so this is your close 21 days ago bracket close divided by again close 21 days ago which is your e5 bracket close everything you multiply it by 100 so here we go we have got 7.86 as roc we use drag and drop function and we have got the ROC for 21 ROC 21 similarly for ROC 12 we say is equal to two brackets open current close minus close that was 12 days ago and we are going to close the bracket and divide it by E5 again that is close 20 or close 12 days ago and we are going to reclose the bracket and everything has to be multiplied by 100 and here we go negative 1.52 is the ROC use autofill function and here you have the ROC for the entire duration so this is how we calculate ROC it's very simple and very easy to understand